So today we're going to look at how you can solve some of the obvious errors that are shown on your contact form 7. So you probably may have uh, had an update recently where you have this misconfiguration leads to mail delivery failure or other troubles. Validate your contact forms now. And you've tried to validate them. It's taken you through to a page that shows how to validate or to resolve these configuration errors. But when you look at it really, it doesn't perhaps make a lot of sense. You just want someone to show you exactly what to do. So this is the purpose of this video. So here we have, uh, first of all, validate contact form 7 for configuration. So it's got to 2 to validate. If I click that, uh, you'll see that I've still got these errors here. So these will need configuration changes. So I just take my first one, click into that. And then you'll see again, if you just follow where the red exclamation marks are, you'll see it's these two columns here have issues. So the first uh, one we'll take is a subject. That's the easiest one. And what it's saying now is no longer can you get away with just putting your subject. You need to make it unique. So I'm just going to put on there something that makes it unique. So the form's called 52 weeks of years. And uh, so if I just put there from 52 weeks of years, then in that way, then I know that form is unique to that particular subject line. So that solves that one. Uh, the second one that you may need to solve then is here. Um, so let's just make sure that's solved first. Well, if I click save, and that should then hopefully validate that. There you go. So we've solved that one. And the second most common one is here. And what it's after is just an email address um, that's valid to the domain name. So uh, in the case of this, my domain, my domain name is schooldays.com. Um, I normally use something like WordPress because it's coming from WordPress at schooldays.com, which is, and that's because that's then my my domain. And then if you then validate, and what I would say is you should actually set up that email. That's the right thing to do here. Set up the email on your server if you can add extra emails. And the one thing that we need to make sure, the one thing we need to make sure is to just make sure that those brackets are removed as well. So that's how it should be, just these open and closed uh, brackets only. Click save. And because that's on the right domain, it now validates it. And so now we have this totally uh, ready to go. If I go back to my contact forms and we'll see again, we've got a similar situation here. So just to go through that again, click on the mail. On there, we want to just put in uh, our email address. And in this case, this is called contact form one. So we'll just keep it at that. And then that will, again, just give us that information. Click save, and then we've gone and saved then the two issues, both now resolved. If we go back to our contact forms, you'll notice now we've resolved all the issues. So hopefully that's been useful. Uh, don't forget, if you can uh, subscribe to us, then uh, that's in the box down below on the right-hand side. And if you click the bell, it'll notify you when we have another update. The purpose of these videos is really to help web owners, website owners, and small businesses to continue to validate and benefit from my experience of 20 years. Thanks for watching.